Hello everyone and welcome again to HTML course. Today's topic is different. We are not going to learn any tag because learning HTML doesn't mean that you learn only the HTML tags. We need to learn and understand some other concepts which are directly or indirectly related to HTML. For example, in future, we will look what is the difference between block line and inline element and the difference between semantic and non-semantic tags, etc, etc. So the topic of this video is, should we use uppercase letters or lowercase letters for HTML tags? Or which one is good to use? As you know, HTML is case insensitive. And that means you can write HTML code in uppercase or in lowercase. The browser has no issue with the case either. It interprets both the cases exactly the same. For example, look at the both the documents on the screen. The one is written in lowercase and the other one is written in uppercase. And it makes no difference when it comes to the output. So what case should we use? In my opinion, is a matter of choice. And I am not going to suggest that you must stick to one particular case. But when we look at the trend set by industries and the developers, we see the HTML code is written in lowercase. And I myself have never come across any web page written in uppercase HTML tags. So the industries are writing code in lowercase, developers like to write code in lowercase, even the IDEs we use encourage us to write code in lowercase, like Emmet in VS Code. If I want HTML document, it is produced in lowercase. For example, right? So why lowercase has become a trend? I think there could be many reasons, such as lowercase is easy to read and people are used to it. In addition, I think the toggling of caps lock or holding down the shift key is time consuming and sometimes annoying. So I myself use lowercase, but once again, it's a matter of choice what case you use. The important thing is that you must stick with one case only. Using both cases may cause confusion. So it was all about the case discussion. I will see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.